Growing up with celebrity parents, Shiloh Jolie Pitt has been a subject of the public eye her whole life. Having already sported all kinds of iconic looks, it's safe to say the teen is an unconventional fashion legend in the making. Shiloh Jolie Pitt knows how to create a buzz, quite literally. She loves to switch up her style choices, going from a pixie cut to a chignon seemingly in the blink of an eye. On Independence Day, Jolie Pitt was snapped with a freshly shorn buzz cut during a shopping trip with her mother and siblings. The bare-faced teen paired her cropped locks with a hoodie sweatsuit, and this isn't the first time her outfits made headlines. In 2021, Shiloh caused a stir at the Los Angeles premiere of The Eternals. She looked glam in a beige asymmetric dress that previously belonged to her mother, Angelina Jolie. Her hair was pulled back in a bun, and she rocked flawless, barely-there makeup. Shiloh switched up her look again for the Italian premiere of The Eternals, where she was clad in a black Versace skater-style dress, brightly patterned yellow and black sneakers, and had her hair in an updo once again. For the London premiere, the 17-year-old wore her hair in a perfectly styled top knot, paired with ballet flats and the vintage Dior dress that her mom wore to the Maleficent Mistress of Evil press conference two years earlier. While Shiloh might be departing from what her mother described as her Montenegro style in a 2010 Vanity Fair article, she continues to remain true to herself stylistically. Throughout Shiloh Jolie Pitt's life in the spotlight, her sense of style has been a significant point of focus in the media. Even from Shiloh's early childhood, tabloids have consistently speculated about her gender identity, as she once wanted to go by the name John and has often strayed from wearing traditionally feminine clothing. As the Daily News wrote in 2010, Shiloh Jolie Pitt's newly cropped short haircut and tomboyish wardrobe have style mavens, celeb watchers, and bloggers puzzling over why Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie's three-year-old girl apparently doesn't want to look like a girly girl. Other celebrity bloggers have been a bit more blunt, outright questioning whether Shiloh identified as a boy. Some have even acknowledged that others mistook a four-year-old Shiloh for her brother Knox, despite the fact that he is over two years younger than her. Luckily for Shiloh, her mother wants nothing more than for her children to develop their own identities on their own terms. Yeah. I'm so excited. I feel like my world expands as their world expands. Yeah, yeah. In an interview with the Daily Mail, Angelina Jolie championed her daughter's unique way of dressing and chastised the tabloid's eagerness to label her, saying, I don't think it's for the world to interpret anything. She likes to dress like a boy and wants her hair cut like a boy, and she wanted to be called John for a while. Some kids wear capes and want to be Superman, and she wants to be like her brothers. It's who she is. And as Shiloh has proven yet again with her bold new hairstyle, she continues to blaze her own fashion trail, despite her detractors. Over the years, Shiloh Jolie Pitt has garnered many comparisons to her actor parents. When she was rocking her long brunette tresses, she looked more like Angelina, with some hints of Brad in there as well. While her resemblance to Brad is more noticeable with her cropped haircut, she could still easily play her mom in a biopic one day. As the Daily Star pointed out, Shiloh's look is very reminiscent of one of the looks Angelina sported while filming Gia, the biographical film chronicling model Gia Karanji's success and tragic death. And though Angelina's Gia haircut would become one of her most iconic looks, she hasn't always been up for short hairstyles. In 2015, leaked emails between Jolie and Sony executives revealed that she wasn't fond of the producer's desire to shave her head in a Cleopatra movie, she wrote. The one thought I would ask you both is about her bald. I think that made sense in earlier drafts, but if we are saying every time she's in bed, she has no hair or a shaved head, it changes the sensuality. In response to Jolie's hesitation, producer Scott Rudin and Sony co-chairwoman Amy Pascal made some pretty snarky comments about Angelina and her talent. In response, Angelina spoke to The New York Times, saying she's more than equipped to deal with criticism, whether it comes from producers or the public.